Hey people, it's Johnny again. Um, right, old Mikey, and um, little Mickey, um, mentioned to me or messaged me the other day, saying, "What um, thrush albums do you own?" So, um, I'm not a big thrush fan like he is, or like most of you are. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, one band on here is mentioned on one website that they're a thrush band. On another, they're not. Um, and I will let you know it is it's Pantera. Um, I've always considered them to be thrush. Um, so um, and there's. There's a few that I had to look up because I wasn't too sure. Cheers from me and Kermit. I need this because my throat is still a bit sore. It's a nice hot coffee. Um, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, I'm going to get these uh, ones that I've got out the way which are just bands that I don't listen to or well, one of them I think I do but not so much <clears throat> and I had this in my collection first of all I pulled it out I looked it up and I thought who's this band called Lost Generation and I put it on the internet and it come up as um, a soul group and I thought nah these are not a soul group um, Midnight Meat Train this is the second cover. The first one, I have no idea. It was. I've, I've seen this, the, the original cover. That was um, the record was on, on Anthrax Records. Um, the first cover has got a woman showing her tits, with I think it was a hook or something going through one of them. It was quite graphic, so I can understand why it was probably changed. But yeah, Midnight Meat Train. These are on Heavy Metal America Records on this, this was from 1990. And um, I listened to one song, but not one that was on this record. Um, but yeah, these are classed as Thrush, a Thrush band. And uh, so yeah, 1990, and it does say down here. Um, copyright in the sound recording is owned by Anthrax Records so Mikey it might be something that you might want to check out seeing as I know you like Anthrax and I'm sure um, a few you other people will like it it might be I don't know if that's anything to do with the band Anthrax um, right next one is a band I don't listen to but I just happen to have Two re albums of theirs. Oh God! Right, and it is um, Nuclear Assault. Came over on picture disc. It's on Combat Records, and this one is. Um, it says on the front, "Handle with care." <laughs> I'm looking on the back. This is an English copy. And that's the back of it. Um, not into this band at all. Um, so if anybody wants to make me an offer on these two, um, that would be cool. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of um, Lost Generation as well. Midnight Meat Train. So if anybody's after any of them records. Um, next one. It's not really an album. But it was just in my collection and I'm not interested in this either. Um, it's got two songs on it and it's by this band called Celtic Frost. It's just the Celtic Frost story, this picture disc. But there's two live unreleased tracks there. Um, Cherry Orchids. Sorry. Yeah, Cherry Orchids. Orcot. Orchards, I mean. Into the Crypt of Rays as well. So yeah, that's um, another band that's classed as thrash, stroke, 
heavy metal, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now, this is um, another band that's classed as thrash. I don't, I don't um, listen to this band either. And it is, I can't even say it, Kublai, Kublai Khan, Annihilation. Um, this is for sale. The free patch is missing, but um, this came out in '87. It's on Heavy Metal America as well, like the um, Lost Generation record. But yeah, if anybody's interested in that, I know that that's quite. It's probably worth about twenty or thirty pounds. So <coughs> typical way. Gets a new stall a couple of months, well, about four months ago. The bloody thing's starting to um, squeak. So, this one here is a band that I do like. <coughs> I'm probably, I'm going to keep this one. It's by the band Dead On. And their class is a thrash band as well. And most people will know that they done, they had a song called Different Breed that was on the Shocker soundtrack, but I've always loved that cover, and I love that song, um, so I'm going to keep that, but yeah, that's uh, my band I've got, and um, I've got these two things, they're not albums, but I couldn't work out, well, obviously, something about Anthrax there, Black Lodge, they're a thrash band, obviously, most of Everyone will know that. That's for sale. It's numbered 1410. So I'm going to get rid of that. Limited edition remix EP. And I'm going to get rid of this. Right, this is by a band called Onslaught. I don't know if they're thrash. Um, I've tried to find out. There's a few. <coughs> I think there's two metal bands or whatever, or two bands called Onslaught, and I couldn't work out which one this one was. But um, this is a cover of Let There Be Rock, ACDC track, picture disc, and that's uh, there's the back. That's going to be for sale. Um, just make me an offer on if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> I've got this other fairly, fairly small band that um, I'm sure a couple of you out there might have actually heard of. They're a bunch of ugly gits. Metallica. And, yeah, this was, um, <clears throat> this is for sale. Metallica, the 598 dollar or whatever EP <coughs> Garage Days Revisited that one I'm going to flog um, uh, no I'm not going to flog that one sorry no I'm going to keep that one right um, I've got Megadeth stuff down there but I'm going to show it on CD so um, the Metallica Wide the Lightning my favourite Metallica album got that one I'm going to do these really quick. St. Ango, the worst Metallica album ever. Or one of the worst. Um, Reload. I don't really listen to Load or Reload albums. I've got Load there again. Oh, sorry. There's Load. Um, Garage Inc. I do love that CD. Cool covers on there. Um, Metallica's Black Album, I do love that album, uh, even though there are a few people out there that don't. <laughs> um, and Justice For All, that's the album that I don't actually like of Metallica. I don't know what it is. Sick and tired of hearing that song called One. Um, yeah, and the other songs I just don't get into. Another Ride the Lightning, the Master of Puppets, cool album. That's probably on par with Ride the Lightning. Most of you probably say it's better, but 
I like that like about 1% less than Wide the Lightning, so. Um, Kill Em All, cool album. Um, another black album. <laughs> another crappy uh, On Justice For All album. Sorry if I've offended anyone. Um, right, move that out of the way. Then I've got a Death Magnetic album in the standard case. I've got one in the jewel case. Uh, that's the jewel case. That's the um, blah, 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 blah. what do they call them now? With these rounded edges. There's a oh, tear. Oh, what do they call them? Fucking hell. They call them something. Is it maxi disc or something? Oh, fuck knows. I can't remember. But yeah, I've got one with the rounded disc. Um, so, and no extra songs on that. <clears throat> then I've got, it's not an album, but it's an EP, Your Name Feeling, Digipack. Another Kill Em All. Another shitty Saint Anger. And I've got um, Beyond Magnetic, which is just a four track CD. Um, so, there's that. And then I'm going to do um, Pantera. I've got Cowboys from Mel and I've got um, Great, oh no, sorry. Injustice 4, no, fucking Injustice 4. What's that album called? The one after Cowboys. Vulgar Display. I've got that. Can't find the bloody things. I've just looked everywhere for them. Might be in my van. Right, so I've got the reinventing the st uh, reinventing hell. Um, I used to have Far Beyond Driven, but for some reason I stopped buying Pantera and I flogged some of my stuff and had to rebook buy the stuff. Reinventing the steel. Um, <clears throat> this has got the bonus DVD on, and yeah, I love loads of the songs on that. Um, and then. We go into that amazing, my favourite thrash band, Mega Breath. Mega, Mega Breath. No, Mega Death. There's my Dystopia with glasses, 3D. Still sealed. So that's going to stay there. It's got bonus tracks on that one. Um, Euthanasia. End Game. 13, which most people don't really like, but I actually do. <clears throat> Super Collider, a um, few tracks in there I like. Black as Crow, um, <clears throat> it's not as good as some of the other albums. Most people would say it was shit, but this is the one with the, uh, the Len Licure, I can't say the word, <laughs> with, with the cover that moves like you see um so there's that one <clears throat> capital punishment making that years two bonus tracks on there um euthanasia with hidden um limited edition hidden um treasures i had this i've got the original of this this is my slightly better copy i picked up cheap um because the cover's got my original got ruined and you'll see why in a minute I shall get it out now no I won't I'll leave it to end then I've got Hidden Treasures the remastered one with the extra demos on it um that yeah I can class it as thrash I think um that one night which is um pretty cool live album um, st still not black. Uh, sorry, still not black enough. But oh, fucking hell, there's wasp. But right, still alive and well. Which was um, yeah, just more songs. This was this comes out pretty much after uh, Megadeth split up. So, or oh, Dave fucked off, injured his hand, and yeah. Right, killing is my business. And that is the 
original. No, it's not. It's a 1999 CD. Um, another cool album. Um, Rude Awakening. And, uh, yeah, that's probably what some of my nightmares look like. All driving cars and then it, trying to find the pedals in my uh, car, my brake and accelerator. Um, another euthanasia. Uh, Rust in Peace. Is uh, one of the best um, Megadeth album ever. Uh, my standard Dystopia, which has got so many scratches on the case, it's unbelievable. It's been rolling around in my van. Uh, another Rude Awakening. <clears throat> Ken is My Business, remastered with um, bonus tracks. A 1990 version of Rust in Peace on CD. That's, probably, that's my original. Um, the World Needs a Hero with Poster. Which, uh, normally, oh, fucking hell. Which normally looks like that. Um, my original Euthanasia, which is quite worn out, um, and it's got hidden treasures on there as well. Oh, wrong way. And Countdown to Extinction Live, which is really cool. Uh, Risk, which is probably, there's only a few good tracks on there, I love Insomnia and Prince of Darkness, um, Time, The Doctor is Calling is quite menacing, um, Cryptic Writings, which I played so much when that came out, that was uh, quite, I was addicted to that album. Um, so far so good, so what, with bonus tracks, um, Peace Out was my, my second favourite out, made that album, with bonus stuff, <clears throat> Countdown to Extinction, with bonus stuff, another Peace Out, but this is the, um, 25th, but the 25th, 25th, 25th anniversary one with the live at Fantasy Theatre 1987. Um, then a really cool album, The System Has Failed, which not many people liked when it came out, but it was absolutely cool. I loved it. And I think it's, it's sort of grown on people now. And United Abominations, which is a good album. Not as good as the um, early stuff. And then the other one I've got is this side project called MD45. The Craving, which is, um, I don't know if you could class that as thrash. It's, it is quite close to Megadeth, and it's Dave Mustaine, obviously. Um, let me know what you think of that. If you haven't got it, go out and find it. MD45. The Craving. So... And that is it for my Thrush albums <laughs> and a few singles and EPs and stuff. So <clears throat> I've got to get this coffee down my throat. My th <sighs> so now, see ya later. Keep rocking. Hi to everyone in the VC.